Where am I? Alright, that's locked. Let me find the key to that. I want some. Oh, I can't go that way. Okay. Can I go this way then? Oh! I know where you're going. Over here. Come on, little key. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so I think I need to take a trip to like Hogsmeade or something to sell some things. It's locked. I can't go in there. It's locked too. Oh, the key. This real quick. Oh, I know where I'm at now. I remember coming to the staircase and then looking down and being like, yeah, I'll come back. <laughs> All making sense now. Ah, damn it. Got me excited. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I've got quite a few of these. I should probably go back to my dorm. Rebellion. Oh, that at first. Okay. These tapestries. It's like they are. Hundred years I've been hearing this and I've truly had enough. I simply cannot be with you any longer. Hmm. Okay. What do these mean? Personal fire? No. Revenia. Oh, hold on. She tells the tragic tale of the witch bitten by a werewolf. She chose to flee from her home, departure from her daughter, blah 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 blah. Wow. So do they mean anything to me? Uh, here slots full. Let's see here. What can I get rid of? These are worth ninety. This is worth 60. Let's destroy this. That should give me room. There we go. Uh, blue powder? Oh, that's showing upstairs, I think. Right. There's a book up there. Probably not supposed to be out, am I? Alright. Let's, uh... Let's go to the common room. Secret rooms. Oh, so I haven't learned about the room of requirement yet. Common room. Let's go here real quick. Alright. Let's go ahead and put all these in here. I've got quite a few of them. 
That's it. I'm making good progress with these tokens. This Dedalian Keys challenge is coming along nicely. Okay. Awesome. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Uh -huh. I'm most pleased to be included. So how do I go to sleep? I think I go down here. That's where my room is, I think. Rebellion. Hmm. And even now I could go in there. What's in this one? Take a bath. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Level three. Let's focus. I guess I go to the top then. Where is this, everyone? Is it running the library? What are you doing here? Travel. Can't say I didn't try to sleep. Let's see here. Got to go to Hogsmeade anyway. What do we got here? Oh. I do want to go sell some things. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Indeed. Rebellion. What's that? Hmm. Lumos. So let's do have a fighting loadout and then a collecting road loadout, I guess. Lumos. Here, maybe. Revelio. Just keep a lookout, I guess. Oh, there's chickens. So I was like, what is that noise? <laughs> uh, can I even sell anything to people right now? I don't think I, don't think I can because it's night time. So I'll just go right on in here, I guess. 
Uh, Clementine. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. Okay. You couldn't possibly find that, could you? You um. want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. Okay. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you oh, hear that at 11 years old. It sticks with you. <sighs> Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Sending me on such a journey like that? Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck! Yeah, obviously. Is there a way to, like, skip today time? Because... I need to sell stuff, honestly. Um... Hmm. Oh, wait. Wait to advance time from day to night. Ah! There we go. I did it. I slept on the cold, hard ground. I should be able to sell things now, though. Hello, Hello there. Come on in. Plenty to look at here. Sell. A pleasure Sell. doing business with you. Sell. Pretty much selling everything. Beast. Huh, maybe I'll learn more about these. Hmm. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Sure. In this store. Maybe it's not something I can buy. Okay. I kind of want to go to the. Alright, alright, alright. Let me <laughs> calm down here and see where I want to go. So. World map. Oh, I can actually. I've already been over there, so let's go check it out. Red and pretty. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willisy might get an answer about these butterflies. Am I supposed to follow them right now? Is 
say, I can't move in the water very fast. Where are we going? Okay. Thank God, because I've already gone that way before. Rebellion. What's this? Oh, wow. Look what we have here. Ah. Okay. Hunks mead. Let's go back to her. Hunks mead, here I come. Okay. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Sure do. Hello, Miss Willetsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, <laughs> I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? Uh, I wouldn't know if I were you. Not worth it. <laughs> Got a side mission somewhere. Oh, right there. Brooms? Oh, heck yes. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's <coughs> see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. A seat? What seat? Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Um. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Uh. All right. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. Oh, man. Now. For your first lesson, fly oh. through each ring in the courtyard. Do so, take care. The brooms are hard. school property. This is brilliant. I want them returned in one piece. This will take some getting Whee. used to. <laughs> That's awesome. That's not too bad to control at all. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Sure. Uh, okay. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Okay, so hold R2 for flight speed. What have you? Oh man. Hello! Nice day for a flight! Oh god. 
gosh. <laughs> Could anyone else see that? Can we go faster? Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Oh god. Okay. It's a little shaky. Gosh, if I could have one of these to get around, it would be a lot easier to explore. Oh my god. Let me not go into the water ever again. That is exactly why I didn't want to go into the water last time. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Some games they have the analog set like opposite, but this game is, you know, up is up and down is down. Have a moment. Woo! I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Uh... But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. Yes, so, I know. Care to join me for a bit of high flying fun? Sure. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Okay. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Woohoo! Yeah. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Uh, how do I lean forward? Speed burst? <laughs> now ah. that's right. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? Ha! <laughs> There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Plenty of underjaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Are those hippogriffs? I oh, know, those are just owls. <laughs> I thought they were a lot farther away than right on me. Wow. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Have you two been? Uh oh. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're I... still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. Oh. Well, as for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. I need extra practice, ma'am. That was some rather good fly. Hmm. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. <sighs> It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I'm definitely going I to. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. 
Definitely going there. Absolutely. Okay. It'll be a lot easier to get around if I do that. What is it called? Uh, magic Neep. No, I think it was this. Bird and Peck? No. It's a beast store. Hairdressing. No. Hmm. Is it this one? Ah. than Hogsmeade. Ah, All right. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Hi. Albie Weeks. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few yeah. rare U-weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Okay. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No <laughs> easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Okay. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the you one's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Okay. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Uh, first off, let's sell this. Nice doing business with you. All right, second off. 600, 600, 600. Are they all 600? Hmm. That item is of the highest quality. Impa dash. Okay. House broom. <laughs> no. Moon trimmer. A little light on the front. That item is of the highest quality. A wind wisp. A U weaver. Uh, I think I like the Ember Dash. That item is of the highest quality. Yeah, let's do this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Uh, oh. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? All right. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, Seeing flyers maneuver the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. 
I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. <sighs> Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. Oh, He's forever you. in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. All right. Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spin witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I'm maybe too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. <laughs> All right. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun, too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Okay. 